Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 48 of 2023, we had 122 tournaments, with a total of 2,373 players and 8,709 games played. This week, the Space Rings topped the charts with 21 wins and 69 top 3 placings. Their weighted placing is 17.3, which is similar to the weighted placing they have achieved over the past few weeks. Aldari come next with 17 wins and a weighted placing of 5.8, the best overall. They have improved significantly on the way to the basic of 11 they got last time. They have recaptured some of their dominance at the top, only being second due to the much higher popularity of the Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines get 13 wins and a way to the basic of 9.1. This is a significant improvement on the way to the basic of 23.6 they got last week. I would estimate that they just had a relatively poor performance last time out, as the 9.1 is closer to the usual weighted placing we have seen in recent weeks. The Orcs come next with 10 wins and a weighted placing of 8.1, the third best overall. Their good form continues, with another impressive weighted placing. They have been one of the stronger factions since the changes, but they are performing very well in terms of winning tournaments at the moment. The World Eaters are the last faction in blue, also getting 10 wins, with a weighted placing of 7.3, the second best overall, and twice as good as last week. Astra Militarum topped the green group with 6 wins and a weighted placing of 13.2, which is much better than the weighted placing of 79 they got last time. The Lisa Botan are close behind with 5 wins and a weighted placing of 13.2, a very similar result to last week. The Tau come next, also getting 5 wins and a weighted placing of 16.2, a slight increase for them. The Custodies get a good result with 5 wins and a weighted placing of 9.4. They are the only faction in green to get a weighted placing below 10, which is a bit surprising considering they have been struggling since they got nerfed. The Necrons managed to win 4 tournaments this time out, alongside a weighted placing of 24. Tyranids also get 4 wins and a weighted placing of 26.3. They have dropped back a little from the weighted placing of 17.5 they got last week. Chaos Knights and Death Guard are the last factions in green, both getting 4 wins and a weighted placing of 18.3 and 20 respectively. Grey Knights top the yellow group with 3 wins and a weighted placing of 11.7, the same as last time. Adeptus Mechanicus come next with 2 wins and a weighted placing of 14.5. Their weighted placing has been steadily increasing after their one week at the top. Sisters also get two wins and a weighted placing of 25.5, which is much worse than the eight wins and a weighted placing of 6.4 they got last time. As suggested in the last video, their reasonably small player base can lead to big swings in the weighted placing, as one or two wins make a big difference when there are only 69 players overall. We do only see one known faction in red this week, with the Thousand Suns not managing to get a tournament win. 25 factions manage at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 218. Chaos Space Marines have been second with 85 top 10 placings, with Eldari in third on 74 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 19.93% of all players taking them. Tyranids are the second most popular faction on 6.74%, followed by Chaos Space Marines in third on 6.19%. The Tyranids in particular are still popular, despite performing worse than the factions with a similar popularity. I would imagine this is because they are the bad guys of 10th, which give them a nice range refresh in the Leviathan bot, with more new models when their codex released. It takes our resident stats guru and ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video, it really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. As the two factions in blue do not have full indexes, this week Chaos Space Marines topped the win rates with an impressive 58%. This is a big improvement on the 46% they got last time, confirming they just had a bad performance last week. The Lisa Votan comes second with a win rate of 55.5%, another impressive result for them. The Aldari are not back into joint third, courtesy of their win rate of 52.8%. They have dropped back this week from their usual win rate around 58%, although they do have the best weighted placing. I believe this is the first time they have been in the Goldilocks zone since the start of 10th edition from our stats, so I think it is safe to say they will be back above the zone very soon. The World Eaters managed to get the same win rate as Aldari, with 52.8%, to go along with the second best weighted placing this week. The Orcs get a win rate of 51.5%. I do find it slightly odd that the top three factions in terms of weighted placing are the first three factions in the Goldilocks zone. I was expecting at least Aldari to be above the zone. Admech are the last full faction in green, with a win rate of 50.8%, a slight decrease on the 53.8% they got last week. It will be a few weeks until we see their codex in play, although they are performing reasonably well at the moment. We do see more factions in yellow this week, with Death Guard topping the group with a win rate of 48.9%. Imperial Knights and Thousand Suns come next, 
with a win rate of 48.6% and 48.2% respectively. The Space Marines get a win rate of 47.8% with the Tyranids on 46.8%. There are a few more factions in the Goldilocks zone with Custodians and Demons just managing to get on the right side of the line. The Sisters have seen a big drop in their win rate. They get 44.7% this time compared to the 54.3% they got last time out. The Grey Knights have an even larger drop in their win rate with 40.7% compared to last week's 55.8%. The Eldari top the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 58.2%. The Leagues of Votan retain their second place with a win rate of 53.9%. Chaos Space Marines are close behind in third with a win rate of 53.7%. The World Eaters remain in fourth with a win rate of 52.3%, followed by Orcs on 51.5%. Chaos Knights are the last full faction in green with a win rate of 50.7%. Admech topped the yellow group, just missing out on green, with a win rate of 49.9%. The rest of the rankings are very similar, with the Tyranids on 46.8% and Space Marines close behind on 46.7%. We've seen the same factions below the Goldilocks zone, with Astra Militarum on a win rate of 44.7%. Drukari and Custodes remain in the same positions, with a win rate of 44% and 43.5% respectively. As the three chapters in blue only have a single player, this week the Space Wolves topped the charts with a win rate of 55.8%. They have increased their win rate this week, allowing them to claim the top spot. The second most popular chapter, the Black Templars, are not far behind, with a win rate of 53.7%. They have got a slightly worse win rate this week, although not by a huge amount. The Imperial Fists and Raven Guard are the last chapters in green, with a win rate of 51.4% and 50% respectively. The Salamanders are the last chapter in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.4%. The Iron Hands get a win rate of 43.9%, followed by the most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, on a 43.7% win rate. The third most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, see a slight improvement in their win rate, getting 43% this time out. The Death Watch are the last chapter in yellow, with a win rate of 42.2%. The Blood Angels are the only chapter in red with a lot of players. Unfortunately, they only manage a win rate of 35.7%. I would imagine they are doing poorly, as the other Divergent chapters, they have better options for the Space Marine Codex's detachments. For example, the Space Wolves' unique unit worked very well in the Stormlands Task Force, making them the best chapter for that detachment, in my opinion. As a Blood Angels collector, I do hope they look at buffing some of their unique units when the next Balanced Data Slate is released in January. The second most popular chapter, the Black Templars, topped the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 53.3%. The Space Wolves finally get in green with a 50.3% win rate. The Iron Hands have a win rate of 46.5%, with the Death Watch close behind on a win rate of 46.4%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, have a win rate of 45.9%, followed by the Blood Angels on 45.2%. The Salamanders run a win rate of 44.3%, with Fearless's favourite Blue Boys and third most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, on a win rate of 43%. The Imperial Fists have a win rate of 42.7%, with the Raven Guard on 42.3%, and the White Scars on a 33.1% win rate. This week, the majority of the Chaos Space Marine Warbands are unknown, so we will go straight into Leviathan so far. The Red Corsairs topped the win rates with 60.2%, with the Word Bearers on a 53.7% win rate. The Alpha Legion get a win rate of 53.4%, followed by the most popular warband, the Black Legion, on 53%. The Night Lords topped the Yellow Group with a win rate of 49.6%, the Iron Warriors get a win rate of 47.7%, with the Emperor's Children at the bottom with a 46.7% win rate. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.